Now this is one of my favorite Jamaican food, especially on the weekend when you are sitting down to a big breakfast. This is ackee and salt fish, Jamaica's national dish. This is enjoyed throughout the Caribbean and today I'm gonna show you how I make mine. I hope you like it. So now the first thing I'm going to do is prep my salt fish. Now the salt fish is just dehydrated cod fish that has been salted. Now I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces because at this stage they're a bit rubbery so it's a bit hard and it's heavily salted. So I want to remove a uh, majority of the salt because you want to leave some in there to flavor your dish. And we also want to soften this up a bit so we're going to boil it out um, in some water. Now you want to use a sharp knife for this because um, like I said it's a bit rubbery and it's, um, it will be harder to cut through with a dull knife. Um, the size doesn't matter, we just want it to be in smaller pieces so it can fit in our pot. So now we're gonna give this a quick rinse with some cold tap water. You know how Jamaicans are, we rinse everything and sausage is no exception. So we're just gonna agitate this a little bit um, to move it around and um, loosen things up a little bit. Then we're gonna throw this water off and rinse it again with some fresh tap water, drain it, and then we're gonna return back to our workstation. So now that we have rinsed our salt fish, we are going to set it aside for now and move on to our next step. So next you want to grab a medium sized saucepan and fill it with water. You want to have enough water in there to cover your salt fish. Then you're going to add your salt fish to the cold water and we're going to bring this to a boil on medium heat. So now once our water has come to a boil, um, we are going to remove it from our flame and throw off the hot water. Please proceed with caution because it is hot water. You also want to go ahead and add some cold tap water to it to stop the cooking process and to cool your sausage down a bit because you're going to be handling it by hand. So now that our sausage is cool enough for us to handle, go ahead and grab the first piece. We're going to be removing the fin, the skin, and majority of the bones. And just about anything that you do not want to consume, go ahead and remove it at this point and place it in a separate bowl. Now the fish is nice and soft at this point, so um, you can remove majority of that stuff with your fingers. You can also use a knife for scraping away the scales as well. The choice is yours, or you can use both. Now once you're finished with this, go ahead and throw off that water and place your salt fish in a strainer because we are gonna flake it next. Go ahead and place a bowl under your strainer. It will stabilize the strainer so it doesn't um, collapse as well as it will catch any um, moisture that's still in the salt fish so it doesn't create a mess on your countertop. So now we are ready to flake our salt fish. So go ahead and use your fingers and um, tear it apart to flake it out into smaller bits. Now at this stage, the salt fish is still pretty salty and we still need to remove majority of the salt um, before we can enjoy it. Now my dad taught me this method a few years ago and I'm gonna share it with you guys. 
So now we're gonna take the flake saltfish and run it under some cold tap water. You wanna run it for at least 30 seconds. Now this will remove majority of the salt. You do wanna retain some of the salt because it is saltfish and you also want it to flavor your dish. Now, if you are on a no salt diet and you wanna remove just about all of the salt, go ahead and run it for a minute and that should do the trick. You can also taste um, pieces of saltfish just to taste for saltiness and you can um, decide if you want to salt further or leave as a choice if yours. It is completely up to you at this point. Now, I love this desalting method because you only have to boil the saltfish one as opposed to multiple times. Once you are done, um, you want to shake it a few times to remove the excess moisture and also leave it in a bowl so it can continue to drain and set this aside until you are ready for it. So now I'm ready to heat up my coconut oil in my skillet on medium flames. I'm going to allow this to heat up for three to four minutes so it gets nice and hot. Um, you don't want it to be too hot because you don't want to burn your veggies, but you want it to be hot enough to give you a nice saute. Now, I am using coconut oil because it's going to add such a delicious flavor to this dish. You do not want to miss out on that, but of course the choice of vegetable oil, it is completely up to you. You use what you have on hand. Now, you don't have to worry about writing down any measurements or ingredients because I'm going to take care of that for you by linking them in the video description. So go ahead and check that out while you are down there. Make sure you click on my Instagram link and you are following me over there too. So now we are ready to saute our onions and we want these to be nice and fragrant and um, translucent. So it's gonna take about two to three minutes and it's gonna smell absolutely delicious with that coconut oil. We want all those flavors to be infused in the oil. Next, I'm gonna drop in a whole scotch bonnet pepper. Now, I don't want my Atkins saltfish to be super um, peppery or super spicy. I just want that delicious flavor from the skin of the pepper to be infused in my oil as well. And I'm also going in with some pressed garlic for flavor. So we will allow all of this to saute for a few minutes and then we are ready to move on. Let me tell you, this smells so delicious right now. Um, that coconut oil mixed with the onion and the garlic and the pepper, it is absolutely divine. So next we're gonna go in with our green onions or our scallion, we're gonna add that to the mix. So next I'm going in with an assortment of mixed bell peppers. Now not only are these gonna add flavor to our dish, it's gonna give it some color as well. It's gonna be nice and colorful. So the choice of colors is completely up to you. So we wanna give it a stir to combine everything because we wanna make sure that flavor is um, distributed throughout the whole dish, right? So now we're gonna go in with our tomatoes. And we're going to add in our juicy tomato score mix and we're going to combine that in as well. And we're going to follow that up with some fresh thyme. I love, love cooking with fresh thyme. It's so fragrant. And um, I'm going to use a few sprigs of thyme. Now, if you don't want to deal with the, the wood bits, you can also just use the leaves. You can go ahead and remove those from the, um, the sprigs and add those in as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more um, coconut oil because I wanna make sure there's enough oil in the pot to cook the salt in. So if it looks a little dry, feel free to add some more oil to make sure you have movement and make sure you have enough fat to cook the salt. In. 
So next we're gonna add our sawfish onto our um, this delicious and colorful bed of veggies. And you wanna make sure that you combine all your sawfish with your veggies in the pot. So allow this to cook down for about three to four minutes. You wanna make sure that your sawfish is completely infused with all this delicious flavor that we have going on before we add our acne. So we're also not gonna be adding any additional seasoning to our pot because we have everything we need right here. We have all those delicious flavors from our veggies and we have all the salt flavors from the salt bit. We're only gonna go in with um, a layer of black pepper um, for seasoning and that is all we're gonna need. So now I'm gonna be using the ackee from the can um, because that's what we have available here in the States. So um, once you open it, you wanna throw off all that brine that it has been sitting in and you wanna give it a quick rinse under some cold tap water and drain that off as well. And then you wanna create a well, just like I did there, in the middle of your pot and you wanna pour that into the center. Now a few things to keep in mind when you are dealing with the pan ackee. It's already cooked, it's soft as is, so you wanna handle with care um, to preserve some of those um, big pieces. You don't want it to be completely mashed out, right? So you wanna incorporate it into your saltfish and your veggies, but you wanna do so with a little finesse, with a little TLC, right? Because it's soft and it will mash out easily. And once we have incorporated our ackee into our saltfish and veggies, we're gonna go in with another layer of fresh black pepper. Now, so remember the ackee is already cooked, so we essentially is just heating it up and infusing the flavors from everything else that we have going on into the ackee so we have a nice, delicious, and tasty dish. So once it's heated through, we're done. There's nothing else to do. You're going to remove it from your flames and allow it to sit for a few minutes. And here you have it, my loves, a delicious and tasty pot of ackee and saltfish. The only question is, what are you going to have yours with? Now, I'm pairing mine with some delicious um, Jamaican fried dumpling. I do have a tutorial of how to make Jamaican fried dumpling on my YouTube channel for you. I will link that in the end card so you can go ahead and click on that once you're finished watching this video. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you will give this recipe a try as well as give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, I will invite you to subscribe right now and hit that notification bell. As always, one love and stay blessed, my friend.